Sonia. Boxer. Yeah, uh, I'll be right there. calling her again. No, if she wanted to come, she'd be here. Is there something going on that I should know about? Lindsay spent half the day driving around with Tom. Lieutenant Tom? As in ex-husband, soon to be remarried, Tom. That's up, that's up, that's up. Hey. Hey. Did I miss something? We were just talking about Jacoby and his date with Nadia, the ice princess. He's way too sexy for her. Is that just me? First. Ew. Can you retest that blood sample? Yeah, glad to. Any other tests we should run? Not right now. Jill, did you go to death row and talk to Paul Gellman? I did. I looked him in the eye. I think he's innocent. I'm gonna apply for a stay of his execution. Our club rocks. It's, it's not, not a club. club. You have to put in a few more bad guys away. Nice work, ladies. Cheers. Uh-oh, put away your alcohol. I'll monitor. Oh. Hey, uh... Sorry, ladies, didn't mean to interrupt. I just want to congratulate you on the Dennis Iverson Administrator Douglas arrest. Nice work. I had some help. Well, we've had no more ODs, so words out there. That's great. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm going to head back upstairs. Okay. Nice seeing you, Tom. Bye. Have a nice night, ladies. Enjoy those beers. You take far too much delight in watching him squirm. Oh, come on, that was fun. <laughs> I love seeing them in that awkward, I hope they're not talking about my penis size moment. Tell me you didn't drive this here. Please. I drove Maggie, my little red car. And then you sweet-talked Officer Cho into sneaking you past the tape. Wait, your car has a name? Doesn't yours? Where do I know this guy from? Does he go to my coffee shop? Is he my old high school gym coach? Is he my mailman? What? You're sitting. You never sit. It's late. I'm tired. Go on. Right. I'm waiting for the results on the killer's DNA. What did Cooper's background check show? Um, no next of kin. A few drug arrests years ago. Mm -hmm. No signs of recent drug use. Are you coming down with something? Come on. Let me feel your forehead. I do not have a fever, Mom. I'm not cutting this man open till you tell me what's wrong. OK. Look, just between us, mm -hmm. it's the third week of the month. At least, it's supposed to be for me. But it's not. I'm late. Late. You work too hard. You don't eat right. Cycles get off balance sometimes. I mean, at least we know you're not pregnant. <laughs> I mean, we'd be talking about an immaculate conception, right? Well, I may have had a one-night stand. Girl, a one-night stand is a big step forward for you. OK, in a way, who's the guy? Tom. Tom? Yes. Tom, your ex-husband slash boss who's getting remarried in a matter of weeks, Tom? OK. Really more of a backward step. Oh, my god. And no one thought to use protection. Ye yes, we did. We thought that condom was kind of old. How old was this antique condom? Oh, you know what? Let's not go down that road. Latex is very durable. Okay, please don't focus on that point. It was a one-time thing. Oh, my God. It was a mistake. Oh, my God. Whatever. Will you stop saying, oh, my God? What? Text message from Cindy. She wants to meet us in the diner. When are you going to tell him? There's nothing to tell him yet, ever. We're just keeping our distance. Clearly, that's working for you. I'll do your pregnancy test. 
hello, I am in the middle of solving a murder. And Cindy just said she has something on the crime. And if you tell anyone about my sleeping with Tom, I will come at you with that bone saw. I'm not saying a word. I'm putting Mr. Cooper in the fridge and I'll catch up with you in 10. I so don't feel better now that we've talked. And sometimes she even falls asleep on my pillow. Oh, it's a number 37 not to get a dog. Come on, it's cute. I already told Luke no. Dogs are dangerous. The practice for the K-word. Cats? And I haven't seen Jamie Galvin because after he kidnapped you, he disappeared off the face of the earth. By which I mean no one has heard from him, am I right? Yeah. <laughs> totally. Worst liar ever. Don't make me charge you with obstruction. Every time a girl gets a little flustered, you start whipping out the charges. Please spare us all the pain of watching you try to bluff. I'm not bluffing. I'm... If Jamie were to have sent me a text message, say, this morning, Ugh. I would have <laughs> promised to keep that text message a secret. I came in here to do some work, and there's evidence on the floor. No one seems to notice or care. They just drop it and leave it there like it's peanut shells at a ball game. I didn't even notice until I felt the crunch under my shoe. Ew. Was it a finger? Well, I don't know. You have a club, huh? No. no. We wake the dead, not the other way around. Damn it, I ordered extra caramel. Did you change my coffee order again? Yes, because that's not coffee. That's diabetes on ice. It's late. Carbs help me think. Perfect. Think on him. Say hello to Simon. He's an EMT who works with Luke. He's holding a kitten. Which he saved at the scene of a fire, along with a toddler and a senior citizen. Oh, you're good. You know I don't do blind dates. Fine, you can tell him that yourself when he calls. You gave him my number? A pimp? None. Morning. Hey. What's going on? Nothing. Just thought I'd stop by on my way to work. No, I'm not doing court for 20 minutes. We still haven't heard about your date. Oh, please. Lindsay, come back here. Wait up. Where are you going? I have to talk to Claire. Man, you walk fast. Long legs. I think somebody doesn't want to talk about it because it went a lot better than she wants to let on. Did it go a lot better? Oh, all right. You got me. It might have been the best date I've ever been on. We had an unbelievable dinner, and we talked until they closed the restaurant, and then we went home, and we had sex all night, and I really and truly believe that this guy is the one. Handcuffed him under one? Very impressive, Houdini. Don't you sweet talk me? You could have tackled him. I just got this suit. Got I just came from her apartment. Screams lonely workaholic. Speaking of, did you call Tom back? I'll give you workaholic. Lonely? Don't think so. Yeah, inappropriate. Yikes. Well, not your mama's bikini wax. You can't stay off the phone. You were the center of a drunken spectacle. I don't even know you. And you, crashing weddings and lurking in the alley. And you know this how? Uh, the guy who's on death row, I sort of met his son, Jamie. How'd you meet him? Just around. You know, I. I meet people. So, between the last time we saw you and now, you met Paul Galvin's son. Please don't give me the laser vision. It makes me really nervous. All right. All right, I wasn't going to say anything before because this is going to sound really, really bad, but it actually isn't, so just hear me out. Jamie got into my car at the crime scene. You went off with a total stranger? Have we taught you nothing? He said he had a gun. What? He, what? he kidnapped Are you? Okay? you? He was very sincere. And, and not about the gun. He made that part up. He kidnapped you. Not really. Pretend gun point still counts as being restrained against your will. Let's take you to the hospital, get you checked out. He didn't touch me. I'm fine. Tell me everything. Start with the description. Um, okay, he was kind of cute. And he had a little blood in his shirt. 
More, please. Guys, an innocent man is about to be executed in like 48 hours. Jack, please. Hello, I'm right here. Wait. Your voice didn't do that thing when you said Denise's name. What thing? The rumbly, trembly, hate-filled thing, which I'm sure nobody but me has ever noticed. Well, they call us for us a suicide, right? No, it's Joe Donovan. Joe Donovan, San Fran's QB for the, but I don't know, last 15 years? Three Super Bowl rings, future Hall of Fame. QB stands for quarterback, right? <laughs> you must be the pride of Texas. Uh, got a minute, Inspector? Yeah. I was wondering if you want to have coffee sometime. Who are you? Hollis. I'm robbery homicide. You are not asking me out over a dead body. It was just coffee. It, your partner thought it was OK. Get out of my crime scene. Go! Take a walk. I don't want to walk. Yeah, you do. Looking good, Winnie. Looking good. You heading for the dining room? No, I'm going out for dinner tonight. I have a date. Oh, mercy. You ladies care for an escort this evening? Oh, maybe some other time, Harold. We have a lot of girl talk to catch up on. Ah, your loss. You ready? Sorry I can't dine with you ladies tonight. I'm having dinner with my daughter. So, are you seeing anybody? No. Why not? You know, I've always told you the best way to get over a broken heart is to fall in love with someone new. Really? Either that or a hot and heavy affair with a total stranger. <laughs>